Hello, everybody. In lesson 11.6, page 541 of the second grade Go Math textbook, we're going to be working on sorting two dimensional shapes. Um, so, for our first part of our activity, uh, you'll need your pattern uh, blocks. So, make the shape with pattern blocks, draw and color the blocks you used. Okay, so <clears throat> we have to use one block to make this shape, which is called a trapezoid, okay? And we have a trapezoid in our bag, right? Okay. Mm. So go ahead and just, I'm just gonna color that one red. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just we're just indicating that it, we used the red trapezoid pattern block. Okay. All right. Now in the next one, again, we, we still have a trapezoid, but we can actually create a trapezoid using two different shapes. Okay. Mm. So what happens if we use a parallelogram? and a green triangle. We would also get a trapezoid, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line so I know where the blue part ends. Okay, just color that in blue. Okay, and then we have the green triangle. And in the next one, we have to use three shapes. Hmm. Do we see any that we can possibly use? Let's see, what happens if we put a triangle there. Um, what if we turn the triangle facing like that? And then another triangle. Okay, so three triangles can make a trapezoid. Basically, if we draw a line going down and then another line like that, we get three triangles. So go ahead and color in with three triangles. All right, so we notice that we can use other two-dimensional shapes to create or form other two-dimensional shapes. All right, so let's look on page 542 now. Okay, so which shapes match the rule? The rule is shapes with more than three sides. Okay, and we notice that this one, because it has four sides, is circled. This one has four sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one has six sides. Okay, this one only has three sides, so it's not going to be, that's not more than three, neither is this one, right? And then this rule shapes with fewer than five angles. So remember, we can just circle the angles, the vertices, which are the corners, that's where two uh, edges meet, right? Where two sides meet is a vert vertex. And so <clears throat> this one has three, so that's fewer than five. One, two, three. So that one's also less than five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that one's more than five. One, two, three, four, five. That one is five. 
So five is not fewer than five. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing for this exercise today. So circle the shapes that match the rule. Shapes with five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. One, two, three sides. Nope. One, two, three, four, five sides. This is four sides, right? It's a rectangle. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have three. Number two. Shapes with more than three angles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nope. This one clearly has more than three. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three, four. Okay. And again, we have three in that one. Shapes with fewer than four angles. Well, this one's not fewer than four. Okay, so it's... It's got six. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Fewer than four, so we don't circle that one. So the three triangles were circled. <clears throat> Shapes with fewer than five sides. So any triangle. Anything, any quadrilateral, something with four sides. Okay, and these two don't one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So just those three. 543. Circle the shapes that match the rule. Shapes with four sides. Okay, those four. Shapes with more than four angles. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a triangle I know doesn't have more than four angles. Shapes with fewer than four angles. <laughs> So if it's less than four angles, it means it has less than four sides. So just triangles. Shapes with fewer than five sides. Any four-sided figure, any three-sided figure. Number nine, draw three shapes that match the rule. Circle them. Then draw two shapes that do not match the rule. Shapes with fewer than five angles. Okay. Three angles. Four angles. And that has four angles. And then draw shapes with, draw two shapes that do not match the rule. So these all match. <clears throat> um, Okay, that doesn't. That has five angles. And then, I don't know, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, something with like six angles. Would not work. All right. So that's all there was to that page. 544. Mm -hmm. So I am 544. 
sort the shapes. We're going to use red to color the shapes with more than four sides. And we're going to use blue to color the shapes with fewer than five angles. So more than four sides. <clears throat> this has five sides, right? Okay, so we're going to color that red. It has more than four sides. All right, so I'm going to go find all the things with more than four sides. No, 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 yes. No, yes. So those are the only shapes with more than four sides. Now use blue to color the shapes with fewer than five angles. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So any basically triangle or quadrilateral would be half less than five angles. So that's what yours should look like. And finally, number 11. <clears throat> Draw each shape where it belongs in the chart. Shapes with four or fewer sides. Four or fewer sides. So those two, right? So we have the square. And we have the right triangle. Okay. And then shapes with more than four sides. And Finally, the pentagon shape, five-sided shape. Okay. All right. So that's it for sorting two-dimensional fits. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.